Intelligent Lighting. In the second part of this series, we'll be covering controllers that enable you to control your machine vision illumination dynamically. The complexities of some machine vision systems call for much faster and finer control of the lights on off status and intensity. The systems may even require a level of intelligence whereby a sequence of statuses and intensities of numerous lights are initiated by different sources. This is where programmable lighting controllers can help. Lighting controllers can be operated in either continuous or pulsed mode. With continuous, the lighting is on all the time and its intensity is the only thing you can change. Why would you need a lighting controller if the light is on all the time? Because LEDs age. To ensure that the lighting level is maintained, their intensity needs to be adjusted to compensate for it. Lighting controllers can help to automate this. In pulsed mode, the light is only switched on when it's required and it's initiated by a trigger signal. The output pulse delays, pulse lengths and intensity levels are all configurable. This level of control enables you to synchronise the lighting to your production line, operating at the right light levels, even if overdriving them. Have a look at part one of this series to find out more about these two techniques. Let's have a look at a digital timing diagram to help explain how it all works. When digital trigger pulse A is initiated, there can be a trigger delay, B, before the light is turned on at intensity, C, for a duration of the pulse width, D. Different profiles can be set up for subsequent triggers so that they initiate different sequences from the first. This can be reset to ensure it always runs in the right order. Series of pulses at different widths and intensities can be used for different lights, all of which can be grouped into sequences. Again, this can be reset in the controller to ensure it's always in sync. By using an intensity check within the image processing software, the brightness of the light can be monitored. This can then be fed as a signal to the controller to dynamically alter the brightness of the lights, enabling automatic adjustment to maintain lighting levels. You have a few options when configuring lighting controllers. Some have a series of buttons and an LCD screen built directly into them. RS-232, TCP IP or UDP controllers enable control using a simple set of string commands. And some controllers enable you to configure them via a web browser which accesses its internal web pages. This provides users with a graphical interface for status updates and parameter adjustments. The light output of LEDs are not a result of the voltage. It's a result of the current through the device. So to efficiently drive them, precise control of the current is needed, especially when overdriving. The patented technology from Gardasoft ensures a safe and accurate driving of the LED lighting for machine vision applications. Not only will it ensure the controller operates within the current rating of the light, it can also check the light is operating as expected. By driving a low current through the light, the controller can sense if a light is connected. Ten successful pulses confirms this. To ensure the light operates within its limits, the current rating of the light can be entered manually, or if the voltage rating is known, the controller will automatically determine the current. This means you can safely overdrive the lights without destroying them, as the controller imposes safe working limits based on the pulse width and duty cycle. SafeSense can also detect if the light is disconnected, open circuits, if the light has a wiring fault, short circuits, if there's an LED or wiring failure, voltage high, or if too much voltage is required to drive the requested current, current low all by constantly monitoring the current and voltage levels. Thanks for listening. Subscribe to our feed if you'd like to be informed when the next part of this series is launched. If you'd like to know which products contain the features we've just covered, click on the link in the footnotes of this page.